Hi, I'm John McLeod from uh, McLeod Technology Corporation and today our topic is about uh, what is the guidelines or one of the reason or one of the characteristic of a printer that you have to choose when choosing what is the right printer for DTF printing okay that's the other words uh, not all printers are created equal so some of them have a characteristic some of them are made by Epson most of them and some are made in China but uh, there must be one basic uh, character or function that the, that the printer has if that function is not present then you might think about it okay so the clue there okay if you are printing for DTF the bottleneck is about the the speed of the printing okay so we try to improve it from L1800 to P600 to P800 and now we are now at this MP2400 model so one characteristic of this printer is it can print it's been tested in one of my clients in Florida Dania Florida they print this printer like 10 hours without stopping 10 hours without stopping so what they did is because they have like three months behind of their production so what they did is they send up the, they, they get the file they send it to the printer and after it ripped send to the printer they create another one send it to the printer so they just, they just send and send and send and send to the printer so the the, uh, the printer to be print are queuing the thing is it prints like 10 hours you know one roll of film you just do that in you just do that in like six hours they finish that in six hours so that's how how they do that that's 650 square foot in six hours time but how they do that okay how they do that is uh why the printer is printing without changing the color with keep printing keep printing without stopping because it's just print 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 and while other printers like if you notice in l1800 if you print it after like on the third but on the fifth page maybe on the sixth page the color are changing so what's the difference of these printers from the desktop printers to the production printers what's the difference the difference there is the called a speed box okay there is a speed box so the idea there is this, this is this is the nozzle okay when when the when the printer is printing is print like that this is the nozzle for example not all the nozzle are functioning because some of, some of that he doesn't need it so when this is let's say this is the, the nozzle right now that prints some of the ink are bouncing back when you spray it it's bouncing back and that clogs the 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 whole of the other printers so with that thing the moment that he needs this color right now we see the SMYK he just needs the the cyan and the black when he try to need the red or the yellow later on when he try to print it the, the ink is not coming out because it's clogged by the bounce back of the ink during printing so that's the reason that as they keep printing the color is changing because other nozzles are will stop functioning so the the best way to do that for the small printers they go to the at the end of the printing you know they, they print short they go to the printing and when you start to print it again they do the short heat cleaning wipe it and start printing again to maintain the color that's why if you print with desktop printer you need to stop and do the heat cleaning before start printing again or else the color is changing so in that this kind of printer they don't need to do that because they have the cold speed box I will show to you where is that speed box and so if you buy a printer this is the thing that you need to inspect if the printer doesn't have that forget it okay forget it that's you cannot use that as production printer you need to stop do the head cleaning and print again okay so I'll show it to you here if we open this one okay I have my cameraman 
So, can you show, can you show it here? Over here? Over here. No, this one, the, the, the blue one. Okay, so this one, you press this one and move this away. Okay, so if you can see it here, okay, if you see it there inside, there's a there's a two two box there or two square there. Okay, this one, this one, okay, okay, and the second one there, this one, okay, the second one there that is called the capping station. That's the one that cap the printhead when the printhead is parking. But this other one with the color, you see the color one? So I'll make it closer. You see that, okay? So the other the, on the right side is the capping station. The left, that the center is the is the wiper. And that what is the function of this one with the, a lot of ink? This one is called the speed box. So if you inspect your printer, okay, if you inspect the printer, be sure that you have to see that speed box. That speed box is where the printer stop printing and spit. So all the heads that are clogging, he will spit it so that he will maintain the color. So if your printer doesn't have that, no, 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 that's not a good printer for DTF printing. Okay? It, it cannot, you, cannot, you cannot use that to continuous printing. You need to stop and do the head cleaning and do it again. That's the only thing. Some printer doesn't have the speed box, but because they are not designed, to print continually you have to stop and do the heat cleaning so this is the secret of this printer while this print this, this printer can print continuously without changing the color okay so i'll put it back uh i'll show you the the other printer that we had okay this is a p600 printer okay this is a p600 printer so we'll open it Okay, and power it off. And we will show you this is a P600 printer. But this printer has the speed box? Definitely none. Okay, I'll power it on. Power it on. With the printer move, with the printed move, we need to remove the power cable. So you see how hard you need to power it off and put the power off. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so here, you can see it here. Okay, let me see. All right, okay. Do you see there? I'll make it closer, okay? So if you look at these things, okay, the one there is only the capping station. That is the capping station. After the capping station, it's no more. So see, there's no speed box. The white one there, this one here, where's my hands? This one here, oh, oh where is it? Okay, this one here, this is where the wiper is. But you see there, there's no capping station. There's no speed box. Okay? There's two capping station. There's two capping station. Yeah, this is a separated capping station. But the only one is is only for just a capping station. That's all. This is a dual capping station. But this is not a speed box, okay? You can see the difference. The capping station has like a metal there that protects it. Okay, that's the capping station. So let's put it back. Okay, so this is the P600. This is one of the printers that we have. I hope I could show you the 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 L1800. If it has the it has the power the the capping station. Ah, the the speed box. So this is another okay. So this is this is the one of the thing that we had. So that's why this printer is highly recommended for production because uh, it's a uh, it has the speed box. 
that's the difference. In a big printers, there are if the longer printer, some of the Epson longer printer has two speed bumps. So when the print head goes here, it can speed, and if it goes there, it can speed. So it keep it keep uh, speeding and speeding and speeding and speeding, so that it will maintain the colors. Okay. So this is our lesson for today, and I hope you take note of this when buying the printers. Because if you don't do that, then you might buy a wrong printer. This is a little bit expensive, but this is the right printer for your production and for your longevity of the business. Others are okay for small printing. If you just print like one sheet, three sheets, it's not a problem. But if you are doing it continuously, then that's the difference. You need to get a printing wheel like this. We're using a small, but continuous printing non-stop you can do this for eight hours i guarantee to you this printer can print eight hours without stopping okay all right have a nice day bye